Today you guys are going to stack and add, but you guys are going to have to write the numbers this time and make sure all the numbers are in the right places. Okay? You are going to do two-digit addition by rewriting the problem. Okay, so I'm going to give you a story problem. I want you to write down the two numbers that you hear so we can add them. Are you ready? Juan's family drove 32 miles to his grandmother's house. Then they drove 14 miles to his aunt's house. How many miles did they drive? Now, what two numbers did you hear? What was the first number, Grayson? 34. 32. Do you agree? No. 32. Do you agree now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. 32 is your first number. What is your second number then? Isaac? 14. Yay. Now, boys and girls, I'm going to do this one with you right now. But look what I did. I made sure that when I wrote 32, I wrote 14 right under it so that my 10s line up and my 1s line up. You make sure they line up so you know what is exactly on top of which number. Because if you don't, you will not get the right answer. You have to be very, very organized and very, very careful writing your own number. Okay? Now, what do I do? Landon? Add the ones. Add the ones. Right here is the ones. Two plus four. What is that? Lena? Six. Six. And then what do I do, Kaysen? Add the tens place. Three plus one. What is that, Matthias? So how many miles did they drive? Forty-six. Forty-six miles. Put your label on there. Forty-six miles. Okay. Here's your next problem. This one's gonna be tricky. Max's family drove 12 miles to the beach and then drove eight more miles to the snack bar. How many miles did they drive? What was the first number? Then? 12. What was the second number, Kinley? Eight. Where, how, I'm not, let's not say where. How do I write the eight or where in this problem when I'm stacking and adding, do I put eight is my question. Now, if you don't know the answer, let's think about this. Eight, is that a tens number? No, it does not have two digits, does it? It has only one digit. 12 has two digits. 1, 2 has two numbers. See that together? 8 is only 1. So if that is, if 8 is all by itself, it's only 1, that is the 1's place. Okay? 8 is the 1's place. So if I want 8 to be in the 1's place, where would I put 8, Chase? Oh, right below the Right below the two, not below the one, right below the two. This is so important, boys and girls, that you stack them the right way. And you can tell the difference, okay? If you do this, you are going to get the wrong answer, okay? Let's do this way first and see what we get. What do I do first, everyone? Add the ones. Eight plus two is what? Jason? Ten. How do I make ten? How do I show or write ten on my problem, Xander? Put one on top of the one and then zero under the eight. 
Yes, 10 is written like this. So in a one goes in the tens like, and the zero would go in the ones. Okay, now be very careful with this. Grayson, be very careful. Now add up your tens. What, how many tens do you have there? Ivan, I have four tens. How many tens do I have? Look at my tens plate. What two numbers do I have? One. One and, so how much does that make? Two. That's two tens. Okay. Now, 12 plus 8 is 20, but let's look at what happens when you do this. If you had nothing below the 2, you would put a 2, right? And then you do 1 plus 8, which is a 9. 12 plus 8 is 92? No. Not even close. 92 is a big number. That's almost to 100. 12 is below 20. 8 is below 20. You can't even get more than 40 on there. You should not have more than 40. It is only 20. Okay? This is what happens when you don't stack an ad right. Your answer gets completely off. Okay? So make sure that you always, if it's a ones number, you put it under the ones place. And you will have nothing under the tens place. And that's okay. You can either put a zero there so you don't get confused. Or you just pretend like there's a zero there. There's nothing there, so you just add whatever's on top. Okay, does that make sense? All right. Next problem. Sawyer drove 23 miles to visit her best friend. Then she drove the same, drove home the same way. So if she drove there 23 miles, how many miles will it be back? Everybody? One, two, three. Okay, so what two numbers am I adding together? Yes. And? Yes, 23 and 23. Okay, go ahead and add those, boys and girls. Well, how can you move on? You finished it. You won't know the next problem. Add everything, guys. Just find the answer to that whole problem. That one. All right, what's the answer, Lene? Um, you guys agree? Yes. Three plus three is six. Two plus two is four. Okay, last problem. Miss Morgan drove 45 miles to the Space Museum. Then she drove 49 miles to visit her sister. How many miles did she drive? So what's my first number? Everyone? 45. What's my second number, everyone? 49. All right. All right, add the ones first. Five plus nine is what? Karen, what's five plus nine? Fourteen. So when I write fourteen, I need a one in the tens place, but I don't put it in the answer of the tens place. I put it up here. And then I put the four as the answer for the ones. Then I add up the tens, right? Four plus four is first. What is 4 plus 4, Matthias? 8. And then you have the one on the top, so one more would be 9. nine. What's our answer? 94 miles. All of these can say miles. Miles, M-I-L-E-S. Oh. Okay.
Okay. On the back, so you're doing 28 plus 45. Go ahead and add 28 plus 45 right here. Don't do this one. Just do it right here. No, listen, listen. Right here, not over there. Right, did you add that up, Grayson, already? 28 plus 45? Yeah. Okay, what did you get? Isaac, what did you get? Okay, put your thumbs up if you agree, thumbs down if you do not. Okay, 8 plus 5 is 13. Add the one up here. For 13, 4 plus 2 is 6, plus one more is 7. Okay, for Sharon Show, boys and girls, they give you the two numbers to add. Okay, right here. These are the two numbers you're going to add together. You have to write them down here and then find the answer with your partner. Understand? Okay, over here on the On Your Own. We're going to cross out number 21. Yay! Okay, and then you guys will have to do the back side. You will have to use this table to help you find the answers for these. Okay? If you have questions, you can ask. Okay, so I will find your partners. 